I'm presenting a poster about the effects of using collagen extracellular matrix on wounds from the very beginning proactively and to see the effect that it had on my CTP use to heal these wounds and what was the outcome of using that strategy. I was hoping that when we did this that we would have good healing rates still but our expenditure would go down. We were using skin grafts, we were having failures and even though I thought the wound was really clean, it looked good, and still we weren't healing. So there has to be something else going on. So I went to a presentation by Dr. Leiden who was talking about uh, the use of Endoform and how much success he'd been having with that. And I read Dr. Ferreris' paper to see that he was changing his practices just to use the collagen extracellular matrix and he was getting really good results with that. And then I did my own research and looking and the newer literature is really starting to say that the MMPs are the problem in our wounds. 95% of our grafts were going on the legs or the foot for a VLU or for a DFU. So I decided to concentrate there. So on those wounds I started to apply the collagen with extracellular matrix because it would help to reduce the MMPs and provide the extracellular matrix and you need extracellular matrix to heal. How we uh, gather our results is year one was April 2015 to March of 2016 and year two was April 2016 to March of 2017. And we looked at how many VLUs and how many DFUs that I treated in my clinic for each of those years and how many CTPs we used. And the second year was when I started to use the collagen extracellular matrix on almost all my wounds from the very beginning. And when we compared the results, we found that in table one, you'll see that year one, we treated 109 total wounds, and in year two, 159 total wounds, and these were both including the DFUs and VLUs. And so what we found in the results that in year one, we had an 87% healing rate for DFUs, and in year two, we had a 96% healing rate. And for VLUs, we had a 95% healing rate in year one and a 98.8% healing rate in year two, which were very equivalent. The time to heal for DFUs went from 29 to 21, that was eight days less, and the average time to the VLU healing rates was 23 to 27, which was uh, four days more. But the healing rate, again, had increased. And our CTP use from year one to year two decreased by 67% and the cost decreased by 67.5%. You'll see that in year one, we spent $42,320 on CTP use. And in year two, it was decreased to $13,764. In table two, which shows healing rates, they were very similar. There was no decrease in healing rates when changing to the collagen extracellular matrix and not using as many CTPs. The use of the collagen extracellular matrix products decreased our expenditures for CTPs. We saved quite a bit of money from year one to year two on CTP use because of using the collagen extracellular matrix dressing because that was the only change in my algorithm. I did all my pre-evaluation the same, I ordered the same tests at the same frequency, saw them the same amount of time, you know, we didn't change anything else. Whenever clinical or scientific findings can, in, can be independently verified, it demonstrates a fundamental tenet in research, reproducibility. Dr. Fleck's independent findings in Jacksonville are an important contribution and reinforcement of that tenet. She did her diagnostics, she did all the background work, all the decision-making processes that go into treatment. What she did was important, not just for her contribution to the body of knowledge that's already out there about wound preparation, but to reproduce it and get the similar results, that is important. From my study, I'm going to continue to use the collagen extracellular matrix proactively on all my wounds because I think that I, my healing rates were very good, my expenditures were less, and this should apply to all my wounds across the board.